All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Virtual Reality. I want to say a big thank you to Oculus for sponsoring this video, bringing me out to E3 so I could check out Asgard's Wrath, Beat Saber, and have my first experience at Mixed Reality, which was incredible. So I wanted to bring your attention to the Oculus Rift S, which is available. There's a link in the video description right now. Oculus has the top VR gaming library, so there's hundreds of games and exclusives that are already Already available in the oculus store and there's so many more to come and now that this is the oculus rift s it means that they're more advanced headsets we're dealing with the next generation of lenses which have a sharper display and that means brighter more vivid colors in reducing that whole screen door effect and now it's supportive of a wider range of personal computers the headsets are less likely to fall off your head because of the the quick twist wheel on the top and then there's the controllers themselves it just feels more intuitive and it's got more realistic precision with the controllers themselves by the way make sure to tie them before you play them you don't want to be throwing this thing across the room or at a tv or something like that and another thing is it's easier to set up now you can hook this up to a pc a laptop i mean there's all kinds of stuff now so needless to say the oculus rift s just makes vr gaming more accessible which i love so today we're going to be checking out two games asgard's wrath which Basically, I'm gonna be able to hop between what it's like to be a mortal and what it's like to be a god. And I will be able to swap back and forth as I go through the narrative of this game. And I tell you what, my first encounter with a god in this game was incredible. And then a little bit later, we're gonna be checking out Beat Saber. And I tell you what, I've never really played any of the rhythm or like musical kind of like oriented games, you know, like Rock Band and stuff like that. But I. I've never had more fun being distinctly below average in a game than when I was playing Beat Saber. So now, let's go talk to Loki in Asgard's Wrath. Now, one quick thing, this is actually someone else's footage, so thank you Blitz for giving me your footage. My footage got corrupted during the transfer process, but as it's an adventure narrative, we kind of get to just see it, you know, from the eyes of the player. That's what virtual reality is all about, baby. With my guidance, you will wield great power and Ooh. To be a true god. Great power and being a god? Yes, I'm interested. The powerful Loki will be teacher. And you <laughs> I did this too. Just like trying to drop the mug or throw it <laughs> at Loki. I require the hero stone you acquired from the Kraken. <laughs> so yeah, how amazing is is this? I'm getting to share a beer with Loki. It over. Now, here I am giving him a stone, which we didn't get to fight the Kraken, but like, how amazing is that? In the 30 hours adventure, if we get to fight a Kraken? So that's the rune that allows me to become a, a god. So look at the world map. You can see Midgard there. Like, look at this. So this is the map of Midgard. I feel like it's almost like you're waking up. <laughs> and you know what game I'm talking about. Oh, you're awake. So there's the shield maiden, right? And she's absolutely crazy. This is the god of war. Now, what we're about to see is our first encounter. Well, I, unless you count Loki. With a god. Get ready for it, because this is amazing. It's like Viking D-Day right now. Until, <laughs> yeah, what if on D-Day, a giant was summoned from the depths of the ocean? There's the shield maiden. Yeah, can you imagine witnessing this? Well, I mean, you can, and you can in virtual reality. That's the beauty of virtual reality game. My god, this was such a surreal experience. By the way, amazing helmet, I want it. Look at all those runes on his back. Just picking up ships and crushing them. And look at the statue, that ominous statue in the back. Ooh, sardines. By the way, I actually like sardines. You guys like sardines? I know a lot of people don't because it's a salty little fish. So but like, weak. I'll tell you what, I think they're good. Now that looked like he was eating like raw lettuce almost. <laughs> You don't look like a lifeless You can juggle, by the way. That's the beauty of VR. You could, like, juggle apples. There's little turtles running around. 
And this is the pouch where, once you have it, you can store all the things you find on the ground. Like the apples, the sardines even, and I don't think they go rotten, which is nice. But that's basically like your inventory system, right? Have a look around. And what is in this? Put three items in our pouch. Look at this, this looks like the Ark of the Covenant. Oh my god, a bunch of gold! I don't think- Oh no, 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 I did find that. Hack silver. Isn't that funny? Like, why do they call it hack silver? I don't know. I guess it's just the currency. I've played a few other Viking games. It was called ha hack silver. Alright, so now we're approaching this altar, and we're gonna open the menu to access the inventory that we were just talking about. Aha! So what? Place the golden rune? Set the rune in yes. Place. Now watch this. Oh my gosh, so you remember that shark that was in the water? Just wait till you see what we do with it. Look at this, this is what it's like to be a god. And there's the shield maiden at the altar. Oh my god, picking up the turtle. <laughs> you can't pick up the turtle as a mortal. <laughs> I tried to eat it. <laughs> uh, oh! Go swimming. You can open pathways and change the Look at that. It's amazing the perspective you have. Like, look at all those chests that you can then kind of see. You have a natural affinity with the beast. <laughs> Picking up the shark trying to eat the shield maiden. Only in a sandbox for virtual reality. Yeah, luckily he smashed the shark. But you can turn the shark into a soldier. Look at this thing. I only wish there were more sharks because, needless to say, we're going to be going into that tomb. So here we are, going back to our mortal form. And look, we have a very creepy and eerie and dangerous looking... Well, let's pet him on the nose, right? Ally. <laughs> what is this monster? It is not attacking me. Yes. I see an ally summoned by the gods to aid me. Yes. Wow, that was- I mean, she- she did not need a lot of convincing. I think she's very preoccupied in her great task, in her purpose, to avenge her brother. High five! Let's do it, big guy! Look at that. Baraka Blade. So here's the fun part, is the puzzle system. You can tell your ally to just, like, chomp at the body bits there, and it actually opens this gate, which is going to give us access to the temple. Cut them down! That was a bit of Asgard's Wrath, and I had a lot of fun playing it. Alright, so here is Beat Saber. Now, you get to see me in Mixed Reality, which was one of the amazing things that you can do with the Oculus Rift S. And I tell you what, this is probably my fourth song, and it was after I've had a little bit of experience, but there's one thing that's hilarious, is I've noticed that whenever I'd miss one note and there was a bunch coming up, all of a sudden you'll see me, like, just miss a bunch. But... It's amazing. I wish you could see my front view because, like, I was smiling the whole time and whenever I would miss a note, I would just be like, Oh no! And you would be able to see that on my face. And God, I love this music. Yeah, see, you gotta remember that you gotta hit the arrows in the direction they're facing, right? So swing in the direction they're facing while they're coming at you. And by the way, there's even, there's far more difficult modes. It, I'm tracking this with my eyes and I'm, like, doing it in my head. It's... It's just really funny. I can't wait to set up the Oculus Rift S. Which, by the way, we're going to be unboxing at the end of this. So, I'll catch you in a minute for the unboxing. So now we're gonna be unboxing the Oculus Rift S and I don't know why but those words those words I guess words in general can be kind of difficult Hello. Man, I remember buying The last Oculus and how big the box was compared to this one 
I'm in the middle of packing, by the way. I'm, I'm actually getting a house. So, sorry for the mess. The two remotes, the headset. There are so few items in this compared to the last Oculus. Is this for real? That's everything in the Oculus Rift S. It's so much easier to set up now. My goodness. Well, anyway, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to Oculus for sponsoring this video. Make sure you click the link in the description below. It helps out the channel, but it also is a way for you to check out the Oculus Rift S. It's available for $3.99. It's super easy and it's great and it's a lot of fun. Remember, over 100 titles available right now. So thank you guys for watching. Links in the description. Thank you, Oculus. And I'll see you guys in the next one.